guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I think I've started the last like four vlogs in the same place. Um, I just got a big Amazon order in, a bunch of like little random things. A lot of them are repurchases. My baby shower dress came in, or I think it's gonna be my baby shower dress. So I want you guys to help me pick that because I had one picked out and I loved it, but it was short. And I still like to stick pretty true to like, you know, you need to have longer things on in the winter because although, you know, you can't help it like dresses unless they're formal are usually shorter. Um, it's just kind of like rough to have a short dress on and it be cold outside and my baby shower is the last Sunday in February. <laughs> and so I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be super cold. So I thought, sweater dress so i bought it in blue so i'm gonna see i bought it in two sizes because i don't know what's gonna fit my butt at that time so you guys will have to help me and then i'll show you the other one that i was gonna wear it's a little bit dressier as far as like the print or not print but like the fabric goes but it's shorter and it's not that sweater material so i think it'll be colder i don't know we're gonna have you guys i'm gonna have you guys help me um but i was telling sam just a couple minutes ago so i officially like to get blocked from commenting so you can't block people on youtube it's physically impossible so because you even youtube says like you could but they can literally just log out or create another account people are going to be able to see your videos so basically what youtube has done is when you block someone they can't comment on your stuff anymore they can't communicate with you they can't send you messages um and it's just like basically they don't even know i think youtube says the only way to know if you've been blocked is if you log out of your account and go back to the video, which I've had, literally I've had people DM me rude messages before on Instagram and I'll block them. And then they'll go to their separate account that they don't follow me on Instagram from, like search my name, go back to the messages. And I'm like, so you went through all of that effort? Like there is nothing in life that is that serious. Like you don't have to leave rude comments for people. Like it's not that serious. But in order to get blocked on YouTube, like you have to leave repetitive amounts of just like rude comments or like uh, a lot of times I'm a lot more defensive about my, let me put this camera down, about my friends and family. Um, So like insult me. It doesn't bother me one bit, but if you start to get really insulting to me or my family or even others on the internet, like if you're just like make these very harsh statements, like I've had, I had a person one time make a comment about infertility and it was, it got me hot and I obviously haven't been through infertility, but it made me hot and I knew that it was just going to leave it there. It was going to cause problems. This person was like down to argue. So I blocked him. Well, so I was telling Sam, I was like, what is up with people? leaving comments and there's this one girl who always leaves comments on my main channel she is so pressed that i am pregnant and talk about it so like she said something one time about how i shared a general haul i think on amazon and i it was like one of those like everything i bought this month and it was so i had i sectioned it all out you know it used to be home fashion beauty well now i'm pregnant obviously this is a first for me so it's now like home fashion beauty baby and she was like pressed that i was talking about the baby stuff and then last night she commented on my target video and said something along the lines of i can't remember it um but i recognized the name and she was like again using the bump to get attention and sales and i was like well first of all it's not just a bump it's my son second it's not an attention thing like it, this is literally a target haul and i bought baby stuff <laughs> and third like what like attention it's a youtube video you chose to be here so i finally told Sam, i was like i just had to block her but like just do people not realize like it means it makes no difference if you just keep scrolling like life is too short to spend it angry if someone on the internet makes you mad and it, you just like can't not go into a tailspin either don't watch that person's content or get off of the internet. Like it is not that deep. It is a YouTube video of me sharing things I have purchased with you guys that happen to include baby stuff. Like, like that is, it is not that serious. So I finally had to block this girl. So yeah, I finally had to block her. I was like, I just don't, like she's so pressed that I share baby stuff. I share home stuff, it didn't ma ma matter, beauty, fashion, but like in the random halls of everything I bought this month or everything I bought from Target, apparently I'm not allowed to share baby stuff even though like it's not detachable. Trust me, there are definitely times I wish I could detach this thing and just like set it up on a shelf and he could continue growing and it would be good because my back hurts. 
but it's not detachable. I can't just take it off, so it's not an attention thing. I just, we, Sam and I were just talking about it, so I thought it was funny. I was like, I just don't understand why people waste their time. Like, if I don't like someone, I just don't watch their stuff. Anyway, let me go get this Amazon stuff. I moved like 13 different locations in that first five minutes there. I am so sorry. Um, I just, this house has so many windows, but they're in such odd locations, so it's like hard to get a good angle. Let's see what we got. I'll move a couple times here too because I got you propped up on one of the boxes I have to open. So I know what this is. This is wrapping paper. I got the prettiest wrapping paper. One of my girlfriends from college gets married in two weeks, I think, um, which is so real. I remember I met with her. It was either late last January or right after the one year mark um, of her wedding. Cause I remember I said, when's your wedding? And she said, February. And I was like, oh, okay, it's like a year away. And she was like, yeah, will be all the overall the Rona stuff. And then Omicron came out last year and was like, jokes on you guys. But I was like, that's awesome. Like it's it's a year. And that was actually, we were at lunch and I told her, I was like, oh, and Sam and I are gonna start trying to have a baby soon. <laughs> and so we were joking. We were like, oh my gosh, it'll be a year from now. And you'll be getting married. Hopefully I'll be pregnant. And here I am. She's two weeks away from getting married. And I am, I'll be 30 weeks pregnant when she gets married. It's just crazy how that happened. So I bought her a gift or her and her husband a gift. And I needed some wrapping paper. So I bought this from Amazon. It's a little set because I don't have any like general wrapping paper. I only have um, Christmas. So it's just like pink with gold hearts. And then there's a white like stripes and then floral. I think this is going to be the one that I'm actually going to use um, for her gift. And her gift is huge. I have no idea how I'm going to wrap it. I've never wrapped a gift this big, but we're going to figure that out. Moved you guys again. This is a super random purchase. So I bought, I have like a really weird, I don't, so I don't shower without shower shoes in any shower that is not mine. It could be a friend's house that I'm like, Ugh. I don't know why. It's just, I'm weird about that. So I was um, thinking, I don't want to like go to the hospital where, you know the joke, if you like wanna get sick, go to a hospital. I don't want to take a bunch of stuff to the hospital when we have the baby and then bring it home and either have to wash it or if it's something like shower shoes or bedroom slippers, have to like bring them in my house and bring all those germs home. So I actually have been buying random little replacement items to wear in the hospital that I can just toss and not bring home. So like that's what Sam and I are gonna get pillowcases for our pillows and and toss the pillowcases and not bring them home. Um, and I know we could just actually bring those home, but six to one, half a dozen the other, we just, it's. It just seems gross to me. So I'd rather not come home and have a bunch of laundry that I could completely avoid. So I bought bedroom slippers. Um, I'm kind of nervous these might be a little small. I feel like I should have gone up even one more size because I hear a lot of people's feet swell after they have babies um, just from the like water retention, I think. Uh, but I bought these because they're relatively affordable and I will be able to just throw them away. So. Yeah, if my feet swell even a little bit, these are not gonna fit. But I also have some um, no grip socks, but those aren't cushiony the same way. So we'll have to just see. These little to-do lists, can you guys see those? They're little. I thought they were a lot bigger. I actually like the smaller because I have been using my notebook, my like custom Erin Condren notebook, just for to-do lists. And I'm like, you know, Seems a little bit expensive. So I've been using this one. I also bought some slides just because I saw these the other day. They were on sale for 24 bucks. Gotta break down all these boxes after. What size are these? Nines. Oh, that's like perfect. I love them. And then I also bought little boy some shorts because I saw this little boy on Instagram. Again, like I talked about this in my third second trimester recap or maybe it was it was the target video i was like people keep telling me not to buy baby clothes and like you can't tell first time moms to not buy baby clothes that's like that should be illegal it's so fun and i saw this little boy on instagram and he had on like little shorts and i immediately went on amazon and bought a bunch of little shorts look how cute these are they're a little organic um i bought a couple pairs i think the rest of them are supposed to be later this week but oh goodness this is a lot of stuff Okay, so 
this is the color. I already like the color of the sweater dress. You can just see it. I'll link it below, but I gotta be careful and save the packaging because one of the two of these is gonna go back. Um, I just don't know which one. So this is the, I don't know what size that is. But my, my plan is basically try them on both. And if I end up going with this dress for the shower, which I really think I will, um, I'm gonna return the other size. I got new impress nails. This is my favorite self tanner and it is pregnancy safe. It's like the only self tanner I've ever seen that is actually really good. That is, I believe a one on the EWG app. So I already have this. So I bought a little refill because the, they were having a deal the other day. It's the Beauty by Earth self tanner. And the deal was you could get that one and then the face one, the face self tanner, same brand for the same price as you usually just get this one. So I got those. Bought some sports bras because I put on my sports bra the other day and it completely busted. The girls have just grown too large. So I literally had to get, I think these are extra larges, 38. So that's significantly larger than what I wear now. So I got blue, pink, and white. They're not like the same material as what I usually love. They're not super, super sturdy, but um, they should, you know, be fine for the remaining 12 weeks that we've got. I also bought some nursing tanks. I saw these on Instagram, someone shared them. Um, so they look like a regular tank top, which I like, especially during the summertime. And then you got your little hole right there, or that's part of it, yeah. So I got them in this little three pack. So I got the gray, the black, and then the striped. And I got a medium so I can wear them untucked or tucked and they should look fine. Last thing. I'm not sure how I feel about this. So I got all these funky colors, but I saw it on Insta and I was like, hmm, not sure how I feel about that. So we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this mess. And then I'm gonna show you guys the sweater dresses. I'm, I'm only gonna show you one size. You won't have to see the different size options. Um, and then I'll show you guys the other option that I'm thinking about that's shorter, but I really think it's gonna be the sweater dress. It just seems more practical. Okay, so I feel like this dress actually makes me look a little bit bigger than I am. It looks very loose on the sides. I think it might be my bra getting caught, which is annoying. But, so this is the first dress. This is the obviously shorter option. Um, I really like this one. You do tie it in the back, but I did not do that because I just can't reach around and do that right now. Um, please ignore my pasty white legs. I definitely will be self tanning before the baby shower, no matter what I wear, but this is actually from Pink Blush Maternity. So it's meant to go with a bump. Um, I really like the way this looks. I like the way it feels, very comfortable, but it is just shorter, so. This is option number one. I think we're all gonna go for option number two, but wanted to show it to you. Option number one for the baby shower. Okay, so I'm not gonna go with this size. This is the large. I definitely can tell, especially up top, it is way too baggy, but I have convinced myself this is definitely what I'm wearing for the baby shower because it is just so much more comfortable. It's a lot longer, um, a lot warmer. Just seems more appropriate, I think, for a February baby shower. But again, I'm actually gonna return this one. This is the large, so I'm gonna go with the medium because like, again, I'm only big here. Like I have not gained weight anywhere else. So like this just feels like it is gonna fall off of me, but I love the color. This is perfect. I'll have to steam it, obviously. You can see the wrinkles in the back too. Um, so you guys can vote, but I think I convinced myself. This is definitely, this is the baby shower dress I am totally wearing. Hey, chai tea latte, sort of. This is the, um, it's this brand. Child, you are so large and in charge. It's insane. It makes sense to me why I literally woke up. 
it was, I think it was like 20, 20, it was somewhere between the 22 to 24 week mark. I kept telling Sam, I was like, I feel like I literally wake up and I just look 4 million times more pregnant than I was when I went to sleep. And that makes sense because he was hitting these like huge growth spurts in there. So now, um, you know, 29 weeks, but he's, he's chilling in somewhere in the middle of his 30th. I'm sorry, but look at that, Tommy. That was not the cutest thing ever. That's Doug's toys beside her. Ali. Then you have her boyfriend over there. Sam says boyfriend, I say brother. He's never far away. He's like always within 10 feet of her. Chilling on the snoo box. Y'all, this kid. <laughs> oh, he's so big. I love it. I love every second of it. It's so, I ordered more Dime products. I do have a Dime discount code for you guys. Um, I've been a Dime partner since, I think it was last February. Um, and I talked about it on my Instagram. I bought their Ageless Renewal Set, I think is what it's called, Ageless System. Um, so it has the super firm serum, the TBT serum, because the TBT line is all their anti-aging, and the TBT cream. The TBT cream and the super firm serum I already have. I was just running low on. I've never tried this serum, but I'm super excited about it. Um, I think that these three together are really gonna help fine lines and wrinkles, and like those were pretty tame before getting pregnant because I was using a retinol, but I can't use a retinol now. And the TBT cream is literally called a clean retinol alternative. Like that is what it's called. So you could actually use it in place of one. Um, but I swear this like super firm serum is like Botox in a bottle. It is heavenly. Abercrombie order. I got three things. One, I have a Pink Floyd sweatshirt from Abercrombie that is super, super soft and I love it so much. So when I saw they have the same, oh, this is even softer. Oh my gosh. What does the inside feel like? Oh, that's heavenly. Uh, when I saw they have the same sweatshirt, but with a, just a like Harvard logo on it, I got that and I did an extra large <laughs> because I'm extra large right now. I'm just kidding. I wanted it to fit oversized. Oh, that says oversized and it's a large. Let's see how this looks on. I'll show you guys this stuff on in one second. So I bought this like neutral blouse. Um, I bought this and I thought, so we're starting to kind of prep for our maternity photos are two weeks away uh, tomorrow. And then we have already booked the newborn photos for baby boy. He will be, we will have his newborn photos within five to 10 days of when he's born. So not when he comes home from the hospital, but when he's born. So we are gonna have all, everything squared away and picked out. And so I've kind of started trying to like gather things up for that. And I think I like, I'm gonna go with dresses. I bought some dresses that are really pretty from Amazon and Red Dress Boutique, but I thought, you know, I'm not sure if I'll be fully up to just those. So I bought a blouse and I figured I could wear, I'll probably still be in my maternity jeans five to 10 days after he's born. Um, so I'll just wear those. And then the vest that everybody talks about. So I'll show you guys these in one second. But that's kind of kind of what we got going on. Um, not much has been happening over here. Just kind of getting stuff ready for this baby. Got. 11 weeks from today. He is not here on his own. He will come, which is insane. <sighs> so I think this is a good place to call it. I've done nothing but chat. Sam has been training new employees all week long. I don't know how he got looped in up doing that, but he, and yes, I do. He's good at his job. Um, and so they've had new people starting. So he's kind of been their go-to for training the new people. So he has been every day, all day training. And then he gets off work and he's just like, I'm so done. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to do anything. So this weekend, I think we're going to watch the Batman movies and then um, going to go in and get some more uh, baby boys stuff uh, sorted in his nursery because at this point we are what's today yeah so we're less than a month away from my baby shower which is crazy um so i'm gonna show you guys this stuff on like these yeah these three pieces and then we're gonna call it and i'll talk to you guys in the next vlog all right to abercrombie vest 10 out of 10 did not disappoint definitely oversized but i am glad
I don't know what size I got. I think a large um, because I wanted to be able to wear it pregnant. And if I would have got a medium, I could tell you this would not have fit me. So, ooh, that is, that is nice. I'm telling you guys, Abercrombie can do no wrong when it comes to sweatshirts. This is super, super, super cozy. Way cozier than the Pink Floyd one. That was the whole reason I bought this. Like this is four million times softer. So I'm actually gonna throw this in the wash so that I can wear it this weekend. Okay, final top. I think good call. I think this will look really, really good postpartum. Um, and I'm planning to, oh, I love this. Um, I will still self tan. I will make it a priority that week because that always makes me feel more confident. See you guys in the next vlog.